And welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name's James, and today I'm going to be doing a walk-around video of this 2019 Ford Ranger 3.2 TDCI 200 Wildtrak Auto. It's done just 21,000 miles, and it's got full service history. Okay, so we've been doing these walk-around videos for quite a while now, and we find them to be really popular because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here in person. As I go around the truck, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres individually. We'll have a look in the back. Once we've done that, we'll have a look inside, look at the seats, we'll look at all the functionality inside, look at the, um, the radio, the media centre. I'll even tell you what it smells like in there as well. Once we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet, have a look at the engine, and then underneath, look at the underside of the engine, the chassis and the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you do want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to do finance on the truck, we'll ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT. An application takes approximately five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within about an hour. Um, if you think I've missed something or if you want to see something in a little bit more detail, give me a shout. I'll video it for you, no problem at all. Not an issue. Right, let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. Hopefully you can see from the shot, let me just zoom that out a little bit. It's in actually, it's in fantastic condition. What a great colour too. Um, so it's either a nice starting point for a, if you want to put a kit on it. We can do that as well if you want to do that. Give us a shout, we'll give you a quote for that, no problem at all. I can pretty much guarantee that we'll be cheaper than most places as well. So the bonnet's in great condition, there's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. And I think you can probably appreciate from that anyway. Right, so, driver's side headlight, front bumper, working our way around the front grille, and onto the passenger side headlight and front bumper. It's, hopefully you can appreciate there's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. And there are a couple of very, oh no, they're not stone chips, I thought they were. It's probably a little bit of polish. Just make sure I've not missed anything else this side. No? So obviously it's really low mileage anyway. Okay, so on to passenger side front wing. And as you can see, it's in nice condition. So first wheel and tire is the passenger side front. Wheels in great condition, as you can see. It's got a continental tire and there's plenty of tread. Windscreen. It's nice and clean, there's no stone chips or cracks. Let's have a quick look at the roof. And again, it's in fantastic condition. Okay, so, passenger side mirror back, nice and clean, there's no damage. Mirror's intact. Right, so let's work our way down the passenger side. And hopefully you can see from that, it's in nice clean condition and there's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. Let's have a quick look at the panel over the top. And again, it's nice and clean with no damage. Let's have another quick pass down the passenger side, make sure I've not missed anything. I don't think we have. No, it's spot on. Right, onto the rear quarter. worth mentioning this vehicle is a ULES vehicle or Euro 6 which means it's ultra low emission zone compliant so if you do go into a congestion area on a regular basis um, you shouldn't get the charge for that because it's got the ad blue Euro 6 as you can see right so rear wheel and tyre wheels in great condition it's a matching tyre and I'd say matching tread depth as well Passenger side rear tail light is in nice condition. Okay, so let's have a look down the tailgate. The tailgate's in nice clean condition. There's nothing that's obvious on it anyway. Let's have a quick look. I can't see anything. Now I've just spotted a, there's a very small dint there. You see it? It's minuscule, but it's, if I can see it, I'd rather show it you. A couple of very light marks on the bottom of there. 
nothing serious can't even feel them on my finger so rear bumper is nice and clean as you can see very fine mark on that can't feel it it has got parking sensors and it has got a reversing camera i will show you that working when we get inside so onto the actual bed as you can see it's nice and clean it's not got any nasty burr marks or anything like that so it's obviously not had a hard life kind of looks like it's been used to as a car to me especially the fact it's obviously got no tow bar as well right onto the driver's side rear quarter tail lights in nice clean condition let's have a quick look at the rear quarter itself And again, it's in fantastic condition. There's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. Right, so driver's side, rear wheel and tyre. Wheel's in great condition. It's a matching tyre. And again, it's matching tread depth. So the actual spoiler itself is in fantastic condition, as is the rear. There are a couple of little marks on the paint there, but it is obviously what it is. You're going to get bits on there, but everything else looks in nice, clean condition. So let's just check over the top. Nothing there. Mirror back's nice and clean. Mirror's intact. Right, so let's go down the driver's side. And again, just looking for marks, scratches and dints. Obviously this is the more used side, so I'm gonna be uh, extra fastidious to make sure I'm not missing anything and hopefully you can see from that it's in fantastic condition there's nothing that's particularly obvious on it anyway so driver's side front wing is in great condition there's no damage and then driver's side front wheel and tyre great news it's a full set of continentals all round the wheels are all fantastic and as you can see, there's a little bit more tread on that one, actually. It was about the same, but maybe the same. Anyway, so on to the interior. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Driver's door card is nice and clean. There's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. There's no marks, dints. There's no obvious marks or damage on there. Um, as you can see, electric windows times four, window lock. And then your door locks up here as well. Driver's seat not got the damage on the seat so that's nice so obviously it's been cared for saying that uh, they do crack sometimes when they've only been a few thousand miles so it's just obviously pot pot look i think more than anything else but yeah the seat's in great condition it is fully electric so we'll go forwards backwards you can bring the base up you can bring the nose up and then obviously the back will move forwards and backwards as well just move that back down because i'm quite tall there we go let me climb in. So there are two proper keys. Let me start it up. It fires into action straight away, no problem. Just turn the volume down. Right, steering wheels in nice clean condition as you can see. There's no damage um, on the actual dashboard itself. As you can see, there's no warning lights, no phone connectors. Just click on OK. So um, that one is the handbrake, and the other one is obviously the fuel light. Um, but other than that, no warning lights at all. So on the actual steering wheel. Um, the upper part here controls this screen up here, so you can put your trip computer on there, um, fuel economy, you can do anything you want really. I, I prefer to have the uh, speedo, I don't know if you can do that, there you go. So you have the speedo on it like that, I prefer that look personally, but it's up to you. Uh, lower part is your cruise control, then over to the left hand side, uh, up again upper part controls this part of the screen here. You can have your navigation, you can have, uh, you can have a radio station um, and 
you can like change your stations and stuff on there as well. You can have your phone on there if you were if you want. It's up to you really. Um, lower part is your media center, so volume control, voice command, mute, and you can answer your phone and hang up from there as well. And then obviously you can skip and whatever else, lots of other things. Right, onto the actual media center itself. This is the home page. So that's the normal screen that you will see. Navigation to the left, your radio station, when you've added your phone, it'll be there. Heated seats below, and then obviously your menu from there. So look at the, the map first. So it's a nice, decent sized screen. Um, it works very similar to your phone. What I quite like is if you see the target sign in the middle, you know, if you put uh, a postcode in to see somewhere and it's a new postcode or it's not updated correctly, um, then what you can actually do is you can use the target to, let's find to there, so Shipley Country Park. You can use your target like that, click on start, and it'll guide you to it as best it possibly can, so you know that you can use that. Um, within settings, um, obviously it's a later vehicle so it's got lots of different options including Wi-Fi, it's got ambient lighting, it's got absolutely everything. So yeah, it's a really nice system. Um, reversing camera, decent size screen, nice and clear as you can see. Um, if you had a tow bar fitted it's just ideal for that or if you're going to reverse against the wall and you don't want to damage your vehicle. Simple as that really. Cup holders in the front. Um, I think these are six speed, are they? Six speed automatic, yeah, six speed automatic gearbox. Uh, fuel economy, you're looking at around 30s, give or take, depending on you. Um, passenger seat. If I was a gambling man, I don't think that's been sat in, if I'm honest. Um, it's very clean, the bolsters feel like brand new, and as you can see, the materials are really very clean as well. Armrest, quite like these. Take that out. If you can see in below here, there's like a little vent. So if your air conditioning's on, um, that will blow cold air in there. So you can put your sarnies in there and a drink and it keeps them cool. It's not a fridge, but you know, it's about as close as you're gonna get. Put that back in there and then obviously use your coin holder there as well. Um, so, obviously we've done the media centre. Uh, oh, it's also worth mentioning, on the radio you've got DAB, you've got AM, you've got FM. And then obviously you can put your CD player and you can have Bluetooth audio as well. Um, climate control, let's just try it. Let's put it down to low. Air conditioning's on. Put it on auto. But I can tell you that the air conditioning does work. It's nice and cold. It works perfectly. In fact, it's too cold. Let's switch it off. Too cold for today. Um, I think there's anything else, mobile apps and obviously you plug your phone in you can have your mobile applications from there as well um, you've got switchable four wheel drive stability control, hill descent and then down below you've got your USB controls as well um, anything else in the back everything's really nice and clean as you can see, roof lining is again it's spot on there's nothing on it at all everything looks nice and clean um can tell you as an ex smoke it doesn't smell like it's been smoked into me um usually you can't hide or mask that sort of smell it doesn't smell like there's an air freshener in here or anything like that it's just clean um obviously it's really low mileage and you know the, the actual materials in the vehicle give off a nice smell anyway so yeah everything's spot on in that sense uh dashboard it's nice and clean and it's free from damage and as you can see from the outside as well so you can see from the end there's no damage on the windscreen either right so let me pop the bonnet pop the bonnet here let's have a quick look in the back so again door cards in the back are nice and clean there is a little mark here i don't know what that's from maybe someone's put something in the back seats rather than someone you just caught it a little bit, it's not bad but it is there seats in the back are extremely clean as hopefully you can see from that it doesn't really look like they've been used if at all that comes forward and then your jacks down there and your tool roll and this seat does come up just pull that up and then underneath you've got a couple of cubby holes obviously you can tether that back using that cable there 
um, and obviously you can have it like that if you want and then you obviously you've got your storage space under there instead but everything as you can see is as you'd want it really very clean it's got the over mats everything's really nice and clean ready to go it's just going to start raining now isn't it perfect <laughs> right so we'll quickly put the engine under the bonnet at the engine bay quite like these because obviously they're on pneumatic so there's no messing about with uh, a standing arm so obviously at the end of the day it's 2019 it's got low mileage and it's got full service history so it goes without saying it's obviously been looked after and as you can see there's no signs of any oily residue around the engine bay everything's really nice and clean in regards to the materials that are in the tank everything's correct levels it's clean um yeah spot on Obviously these come with uh, three years or 60,000 miles manufacturer's warranty so it'll have the remaining amount of that on there as well. And everything looks bob on. Obviously you know if you, if you think I've missed something or you want to see something in a bit more detail give me a shout I'm more than happy to do it. Um, what I like to see is this as you can see it's not been cleaned as you can tell. It has got muck on it it's just obviously that's what it looks like and that's it really. So you can see there's no signs of any oily residues around the engine bay. Everything's spot on. Right, so let's have a quick look underneath. <clears throat> and again, you can see under the engine bay, there's no signs of any oily residue. Everything looks nice and clean. And that's the same for the chassis. Rear differential. And under the actual tub itself. Right, so spare wheel. I think that's an alloy and it's got a decent tire on it okie dokie hopefully i've shown you everything that you would want to see if you were here in person and probably a little bit more i realize i do go on it's what we're on 17 minutes um but i'd rather show you absolutely everything and then not enough so thanks for watching and sticking with me much appreciated more importantly stay safe bye bye